Hey, this is Joshua Jarvis with Avoid AtlantaForeclosure.com and AtlantaShortSellListings.com. And today, you know, we just did a video um, on uh, investors and how some investors, uh, we love investors, don't get us wrong. Um, in fact, a large portion of our business comes from investors, but there is a group of investors out there claiming to be able to buy short sales and they're using uh, what we call option contracts. Um, and not all of them are using the same option contract. There's different methods. And usually you can kind of spot the investor a mile away when they send you a letter. And it's in handwritten on a yellow letter. That's a typical investor, typical scammer. Um, but, you know, there's some questions that you need to ask these investors to help protect yourself because they'll identify themselves pretty quickly. The one, number one is, is uh, are you going to close? Now, the short answer is always going to be yes, of course I'll close. But there's usually an asterisk involved, and that is, are they trying to tie up the home in order to get another offer? So are they trying to buy your home for 100 and then turn around and sell it to someone else for 150? And that's not what you want. That's not a, that's not going to work, uh, at least in the state of Georgia. And the real question is, is why are they coming to you if they know that the house is listed? and they have a real offer to make, and they're an investor, why are they coming to you? Why wouldn't they go to your agent if it's listed? So uh, those are, that's one question that you should ask. The other one is, who's going to negotiate the file? Is it going to be the investor, who clearly doesn't have your best interest at heart? Is it, the, is it going to be a third party that works for the investor, who may or may not even know uh, what the investor is telling you, may or may not even know what's going on. They just may be a short sale processing company. And they might not even be located in Georgia. They may not even know the Georgia laws. So you want to know who is going to negotiate that because uh, I would rather you be with a competitor. Um, you know, There's a lot of great agents now that know how to do short sales. It doesn't matter that you're with me. I just don't want you losing your home to some scammer who's promised you an offer, trying to save you from foreclosure. In reality, he's trying to uh, pad his bank account at your expense. Um, and that's what the bank doesn't want either. So, uh, but who's going to negotiate it? Are you really going to close? And then really on piggybacking on that one question, are you really going to close? What happens if you can't find a buyer for it and it's time to close? How long are they going to carry it? See, they may lie or they may wiggle out of that one question, but how long are they going to carry this property is a real key. Uh, we don't hope to carry it for more than a day. Well, that tells you right there. How are they going to have a buyer one day after closing? And it is your problem. I almost like could hear you watching the video and go, well, that's not my problem. If he buys it, why, you know, why should I care how long he's going to carry it for? Well, you care because it's all in his strategy. You know, if he, if he buys that house and he's marketing it, trying to find a buyer, and they don't have a buyer, and the day of closing shows up, and he doesn't have a buyer ready to close on it, do you think he's going to close on your property? No. The, uh, the last question is, how are you going to buy it? Now, a lot of people will say, cash, I'm going to buy it cash. Well, what most of them are using, not all of them, most of them are using what's called transactional funding. This is a, a, a type of cash that is basically a hard money loan that happens for one day or for happens for a short period of time. And what you want to find out, is this cash? If so, I need to see the proof in your account. I need to see the collection of accounts or accounts that shows me that you have the amount of money to purchase my house. This is the type of due diligence that an agent, a good real estate agent, would do with any buyer. So this, what you're going to have to do if you're going to get the calls from the investors and you don't have an agent and you don't want to use that agent when you're talking to the investor because you think it might screw up the deal, do your due diligence on this investor. Okay, I can't stress it enough that that is... Uh, that is paramount because once you lock yourself up with the investor, you've locked out every other buyer and most most likely you are putting the negotiation and everything in the hands of this investor. So it better be someone that you can trust and it better not be out of desperation. One of our core values of the Jarvis team is that we act on faith, not fear. And what we find is that when people act out of fear, bad things happen. But when people act out of, uh, out of faith and a, a point of strength, good things happen. So don't act on fear, act on faith. But when, when it comes to these investors, do your due diligence. Thanks for watching. Atlanta, avoid AtlantaForeclosures.com and AtlantaShortSellListings.com. Hopefully you're on one of our websites. 
you have a question, please just fill out the forms. If not, just uh, stay tuned for some more videos and some video content on short sales. Thanks for watching.